Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. And if you'd like to post on Instagram, it's hashtag 30DSCBL9. And you can also post in the Facebook group. This is a sketch for today, and it's by Creative Scrappers. Well, it's by Amaryllis Doria, if I pronounce that right, for Creative Scrappers. And I'm going to forewarn you that it is more of an inspiration sketch than me actually doing the sketch. I will have two circles. My photo, I'll only have one, will be in the same spot. My title will be in the same spot. And I will have a cluster. So that said, it was for inspiration. I'm using that Mandela stencil from Crafter's Workshop, I think is what it's called. And it comes like two in the set. And I am adding ink to it. And I'm just kind of more going here and there. I'm not making sure it's very solid. I just kind of want it to hint through the background instead of being bold. I don't want it bold. I just want it to be vaguely in the background. The feathers that I showed earlier are spellbinders, so they do have some embossing on them. And I'm going to, well, ink, kind of, sort of, paint colors that match my background onto all six of them. And... Uh, I will be having more and more on a couple of them because they just weren't as dark as I wanted. And that uh, teal color, I'm going to end up pulling out another, well, I think it's peacock feathers because I wanted, yeah, peacock feathers. I wanted a little bit darker in spots. I didn't necessarily want the whole thing darker, but I wanted it darker in spots. And the pink and the yellow ones, they went a whole lot better. I will add some more pink and it will be, that one is stamping up perfectly pink, I believe. And then I'm going to add one from um, Spellbinders, uh, Velvet Rose, I think, or something like that. And it's a darker color, so I am adding my darker shading with it. And I thought I had enough and then I said I needed a little more. And putting this ink on here, I think it really makes embossing show up just a little bit more. The yellow ink that I'm using there is mustard seed. And then I'm going to add some memento ink because I was thinking it was darker. And it is darker, so it does make the end show up a little darker once I get that added on there. More like a shadow. And I'm adding Dilutions White Linen to them. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on the end with the stem or quill. Quill. I think it's called a quill. And um, I'm not going to add any to the teal ones. But I'm going to add teal Heidi Shine, Heidi Swap Color Shine to all four, all six of them. All six of them. I am not going to do four of them now because I think I don't really need that. I did them in white. However, the more I look at them, the more I think I need them. Well, I don't decide to put it on there till I'm taking the photos. And I thought, oh, they could use a little bit. So you will notice in the photos that they do have a little bit of teal on all of them. And then once I did the feathers, I thought, boy, I need to do the background. So I did the gold and the teal there. I am making a moon using... Well, this is the largest of the small ones. And I should have probably just went ahead and used the big one and the jumbo one, they call it, and used the inside, but I didn't. So my moon's a little on the small side, but I think it works. But I didn't want it too big because I wanted to have room for my feathers. So I was doing a little bit of guessing here. And that ink's gold. And it's from close to my heart. And I think it's called metallics is what it's called. And I'm just inking the edges with it. And of course I got to do my sprinkles on it too. To match everything else. Because y'all know I like more. I am not going to put any sprinkles on my photo mat there though. I thought about it, considered it and everything. And finally decided most of it's not going to show anyway. 
So I am not going to put any sprinkles on there. I am inking the gold on the edges, though. Now, you notice my photo. It does have the face covered up. This is for a gift, and it's in memory of. Um, she was in an accident when she was a teenager, and I thought I would gift this with one of those shadow boxes and so I could have probably made this more dimensional but I was looking at the layout and trying to decide what to do with the two circles I do have one large doily and then I got to thinking about this I believe it was in love arts shop I had seen a dream catcher of course it was pretty small because it was for a card and I thought oh that is so cute and that was a good while back. I don't know if you could go there and find it or not, if they still have the dies or not. But it has a moon, I believe stars, and feathers. And I thought, oh, that'd be cute. Instead of having the full circle for a moon, uh, moon, for a moon catcher, for a dream catcher, that to have a moon. And so I am going to make it look like my feathers are hanging from the moon and I'm just going to glue the strings behind there instead. I put foam tape behind the moon because I wanted the photo to kind of look like it's nestling down in there and then of course hanging my feathers behind there too. And last night I got this idea. Uh, Chelsea who is Sugar Ray Crafts here on YouTube had sent me some seashells so when i do sea layouts that i'd have some they're really tiny and it hit me that they i was going to get some beads and then it hit me that these had holes in them because she told me if i didn't mind the holes she'd send me some i thought oh my goodness i'm going to see if i can thread this thread through there so it is crochet thread and i threaded it through them and i was afraid as heavy as they were they wouldn't stick very well so i did pull out the glue gun which has been quite a while since I have used it. But uh, I think I think it looks really cute. I, I think at one time maybe Dream Pictures had seashells probably anyway. And they're just hanging down there with the feathers. And I'm going to have three other feathers to fill in that space right there. I cut them ahead of time planning on putting them on the moon somehow. And since I do have that space there, I'm going to put them right there. And then I'm going to do another little cluster with the word love. And it's going to have some seashells in there too. Um, I am putting foam tape behind a couple of the feathers just so they don't hang in midair and they'll be supported just a little bit. The cluster is going to go right at the base of the feathers. Now, if y'all noticed, I had that uh, ink applicator thingy in my hand so I could put gold on these feathers. Well, while I was editing, I noticed that I had it in my hand, picked up that turquoise feather, laid it down, so it did not get inked and neither did the pink one. So I stopped the video and I went back and inked them, which wasn't easy since they weren't attached to the layout. And took the photos again. So now they're inked. And the photos at the end will be inked too. Well, the feathers in the photos at the end will be inked. I, When I was thinking about the seashells, I had looked the other day for something and happened to see. It was a little bag of sand. That's pink sand. I don't know where pink sand comes from. And little pink rocks. And it had a little tag on there which wasn't my handwriting so I'm assuming I got this uh, well I want it on two, YouTube at one time a long time ago and put it in this little drawer and had never used it but I'm putting the sand down first and I just use liquid glue for it but I am using the hot glue gun again for the little seashells one of them was a little bigger than the others so I took it back off as soon as I put it on and use the smaller ones because I thought with the foam tape behind the moon that I didn't need it to go up any higher. And then I'm going to kind of work the little pink stones in there. And I like it pretty good. I think, I think, I think it worked out. Now the reason I put the word love over to the left 
not with the rest of the title, is because although the fonts are similar, the ones on the right are lower profile. And I wasn't sure what to make the title since I never knew her. And the family did tell me that I could go ahead and post her uh, picture on YouTube and that was fine one time when I did something else, but I'd rather not, so I just covered it up. But the sequins that I'm using are um, Big Mom Scraps Pocket Full of Posies. And when I get them on there, I think I'll be done with the layout. So if you look down there below, you'll see the links to everybody else that are doing Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. Not everybody will be doing them every day. So check out the links and see what, if they've got a video today or not. And if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so much. And thank you all so much for watching my video. I really appreciate that too. But uh, yeah, there's my feathers and those adorable little seashells that Chelsea sent me. And there's my little cluster with the word love kind of on the beach on the moon. <laughs> on the moon, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, this is awesome hop and so much work has gone into it. So many people have contributed. It's just unreal. Christy does a wonderful job picking out the sketches and we all have fun doing them. But I hope you all have a happy scrappy week. Have fun on the hop. Get lots of inspiration. Bye.